I'm here at the Dollar Tree in Freeport, Texas. Let's head in and do some shopping. This little section. How cute is that? Items here in Freeport. The beautiful bottles. Some baskets. Those beautiful plates. I wish they would bring those in black. supply section. Look at that. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Pinks and purples and peach. Green, blue. So many bright, vibrant colors. These are definitely not in the right spot. They're in the teaching section. But look how cute they are. Be kind. Stay cheesy and no bad days. And this tie is Swishy Beanie. His name is Fetch. Check out these Hot Wheels available on Netflix. Hot Wheels Let's Race. Hot Wheels Reverse Rake. Hot Wheels Megabyte. Hot Wheels Metro Beach Patrol. Hot Wheels Ride On. So these have a special feature. There's some kind of figurine that goes on them and they hook to them. This one is also a ride on. It has that special feature where this little person connects. And then this one, this one is a street wiener. Let's see, this one is called a boom car, grass chomper, surf duty, piranha terror, and laying low ride. Little wood blocks, you can either lay it down, it says love never fails, or stand it up and it says love of God's blessings and cherish amazing grace and grateful and forever and always family and these little wood blocks different sayings on each side more Crayola brand bathtub of fun they have the finger paints radical red lilac purple sea green bubblegum pink sky blue and a sunshine orange Crayola blueberry blue bath confetti color twist green blue teal bath bombs and they have the egg shaped spring bath bombs. Cute. Body Rays Dino Dust Dinosaur and a Mermaid. I have these air fryer parchment paper liners. I'm a little leery. I've heard a couple of people say that these actually almost caught their house on fire so I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section if you've tried them in your air fryer and they've been alright. Or if you've tried them in your air fryer and they weren't okay. It's for garlic, onion, paprika, and hickory wood. And basil, sage, thyme, and oak wood. And here it is in the cumin, chili, and mesquite wood. I found a few new things. I'm going to head to the register and get checked out. And when I get home, I'll share with you exactly what I purchased. Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my channel. So, hope you enjoyed that bit of footage that I got there in the store. Let's hop right in. I'll share with you what I purchased. So the most exciting thing I'll share with you first. And it was these. Oh my gosh, guys. For $1.25. I was excited. This one is basil, basil, sage, and thyme, and oak wood. So I did 
read the directions. Um, so you do a light pile of, of charcoal, Kingsford charcoal briquettes following the instructions and allow to ash over. And then you place six or more of this charcoals onto the lit coals and replace grill grate to increase in smoke intensity add additional boosters add your food and keep grill closed to maximize flavor season your food with your favorite spices as you normally would so this is in addition to your um your um in addition to your regular briquettes this is you wouldn't just use only this it says to add it pairs pairings and inspiration is chicken turkey fish lamb pork um shellfish and vegetables so i got this one i got the garlic onion paprika and hickory wood this one pairs well with chicken beef pork fish and vegetables right here and it says also available in 100% real spice pellets and blended charcoal briquettes. So if you have a pellet grill, they also have this. Um, of course, it's not going to be $1.25, but I had never seen these flavorings. So that doesn't mean anything. I don't normally grill. And then last but not least are the cumin and chili and mesquite wood. Isn't that cool? How exciting to get these for a buck twenty-five. This one goes where well with chicken, beef, pork, ribs. Not bad at all. So got those. Next, if you don't already have the Fetch app where you um, take pictures of a receipt, you earn points. And uh, then you can uh, get gift cards to buy things that you want. Um, consider doing so. I have my fetch a link down below. In fact, in fact, for this receipt, I got 35 points because they do have um, their Glade product. Glade has a deal going right now. And uh, I got some extra points for this Glade item. But anyway, I just got me some macrame uh, for my porch, so for my plants, using my points from Fetch. I got a $50 Amazon gift card, and I spent $35 on those macrames, which those will be coming. I'm reworking on my porch right now, so that will be coming out in a later video. But if you haven't gotten Fetch yet, consider using my code down below and download that app. You're already, you know, spending money, whether you're buying gas, whether you're, you know, Dollar General, Kroger, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. If you have a receipt, you scan it into the, the Fetch app. Well, you take a picture of it with your phone within the Fetch app. And at the very least, you get 25 points for each. I have like 65,000 points, which is about $65 worth more of gift cards that I need to get. And when they have little deals, which they share with you in the uh, Fetch app, you get extra points for buying said products, whatever it is. And um, Glade has, it and it has a deal going right now. So I got this. That was a whole lot to say I got some Glad Clean Wrap. <laughs> anyway, I got some more of these sea salt chips, Miss Miss Vicky's. I like these for work, for little snacks. I, I love these kettle chips. I like to um, put them on a plate and put some of the Tapatio um, hot sauce on them and eat them with sour cream because they are a thicker chip. They stand up, you know, like they stay... They don't get squashy or smushy with the tapatio on them and with some sour cream. They're so good. So I got that. I got some more of these Albany's gummies. I have been buying them a lot lately. Actually, Sweet JD's J Sweet J. Good. Good. Usual. 
boys use your words sweet sadie and jay um shared another um set of flavors that she found that are similar to this natural flavoring i can't remember what hers were but i'm on the lookout for them these are so good and we have vacation coming up again in a few short weeks so i just buy a little bit each week of things um we need some snacks to put in our backpacks and so these will be good to go in our backpacks we're going to disney and so you can take snacks and uh, you can take snacks into the parks there. And so to make sure I have some things that way we're not having to spend a whole, whole, whole bunch on meals. We can have some snacks to tide us over. You know, maybe we're only eating twice in the park instead of three times a day. Got this dull peach mango when I got home with it, I kind of feel like I may already have that. I'm not sure though. Uh, I have a delicious meal that I, I bought some ribeyes and that asparagus, so all the things. And I saw these little dinner rolls. I'm like, oh, that would be good to add to that meal. Like a Sunday meal with the ribeyes and the asparagus and all the things and have some little dinner rolls. It's a six pack. They're, they're pretty dense. It just says delicious hearth baked all purpose buns, heat and serve, um, arrange a rack in the middle of the oven and heat to 350 place rolls in the baking dish and arrange, um, brush with melted butter and bake until warm five to seven minutes. You could also probably put these in the air fryer for a few minutes without heating up the whole house using the oven. I mean, in here in Texas, we're already to that time. Like, well, you don't want to add no extra heat to the house. Got some face wipes. These are the pick, pick up and go. You get 25 of them fruity facial cleansing wipes. This one is mango. These feel like they're good and juicy. Uh, the last ones that I've gotten, not this brand, a different brand, have been kind of dry so hopefully these are good had it upside down so got those uh, a couple little things a uh, little toy section things y'all saw me share him his name is the fetch and he is super cute he was born on august 23 so I got him. You can add these. I've told y'all a million times. You can add these onto a present or whatever. Give it a little, you know, a hook onto the bag. And there you go. Why does it look like? It's a little hairs right there. I don't have to get those clipped off. But he's cute. And look at those beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> so I got those. Next, my granddaughter, um, she loved Monster High. She had all the things Monster High. She had the big houses, and I don't even know what all, but I found Monster High car that she could add on her collection shelf. Monster High Ghoul Mobile. Screen time. Isn't that cute? Yes. There's uh, one through, there's 10 of them. So I don't know if I'll be able to find all 10 of them. I probably won't even try. I don't think she would be that interested in all 10 of them, but she may be interested in having just one. So got that for her. And then for me, International Women's Day, that was just, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And I thought this was just a super cute car. I will probably take this to work and have it in my office and we did have a celebration there at our company had a celebration for us international women's day and this is the 2024 car so that's cool got that and then that is it guys but i got some disney adorables that i thought we could open up real quick y'all know i can't walk past these let me see if the ones that i've been hauling were series five I know the last Dollar Tree haul that I did was Series 5. Anyway, I'm not going to. I'm just going to dig in. I'm not digging through all that stuff. It does say there's 41 of these to collect. 
Oh, I have him. That's Rex. And I don't think that it matters that I have them because I do want to make some Disney beatable pins. And so any duplicates I have, I will probably just use for those. Next one. Aw. Uh oh, she came back to me. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Jesse. Aw. Yeehaw. She's cute. Another one. Let's see what we got. Olaf. Okay, that was Olaf, guys. Sorry. He flew away. <laughs> Cute. That one's from Toy Story 2. I forget what his name is. Ham. <laughs> Little ham. All right. And uh, the last one. Moana. I feel like I have her. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is all for this haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.